All right, in this video, let's answer the question, are positive ANA antibody test results serious? So is a positive ANA antibody test result serious? Well, honestly, it could be, uh, but they may not be. And let me explain that very quickly. And I do have another video that kind of gives you all like the basic facts about ANA antibodies and kind of like, you know, the whole, a uh, little more deep dive than what I'm going to do today. But basically, anti-nuclear antibodies are done or ordered because you had some symptoms, probably pain, fatigue, something like that. And you saw a rheumatologist. Uh, and they order these anti-nuclear antibodies. Now, the thing to remember about anti-nuclear antibodies is that uh, you can find them in normal people. So you can find anti-nuclear antibodies that are high uh, in people that don't have any problems and probably aren't going to have any problems. But you can also find anti-nuclear antibodies in a whole long list of different conditions. I mean, everything from lupus to Hashimoto's to uh, pernicious anemia to epilepsy, schizophrenia, uh, Sjogren syndrome. So yeah, those are some really terrible sounding things. But you got to remember this: anti uh, anti nuclear antibodies are ordered kind of as a a first swipe at what your problem is. It's kind of like casting a big net. And if they come back positive, then you're going to get a lot more specific antibody testing that's supposed to kind of point you uh, in the direction of okay, well, what kind of problem is it? So yeah, if you have high antibodies and let's talk about how high in just a second, uh, then the next step is they're going to do this specific antibody testing. And if, and if one, of those, one or more of those things comes back, yeah, you, you might have lupus. Like, you might have Sjogren syndrome. Uh, you might have uh, scleroderma. But kind of what matters here is how high are your antibodies. So when you do an antibody test, an antibody test, you're going to see it'll say positive or uh, abnormal, right, or, or negative. And then you'll see something like a titer, which is, like a little ratio, like 1 to 40, 1 to 80, right? And that's telling you really how many, how high are these antibodies. Yes, they're there, but how high are they? And the higher that number is, the more likely you're probably going to end up having one of those follow-up specific antibody tests uh, show something. So if you're like 1 to 320, right, that's kind of the cutoff I use for is this really significant. Uh, if it's 1 to 320, then yeah, we're kind of getting the serious area. But what happens if you have an anti-antibody test, it's like 1 to 320, and you, know, you have like a staining pattern that shows speckled, but they do the follow-up testing, it doesn't show anything. Well, that does not mean you're out of the woods. Uh, it means that you didn't have anything they tested for. But what we do know, as I said earlier, is you can find anti-nuclear antibodies in a lot of different situations. Even recent uh, information has uh, shown that you can see them in conditions like frontotemporal dementia, which you know is a brain degenerative condition. You can find them in uh, antiphospholipid antibodies. You can find them in uh, there's something called paraneoplastic cerebellar degeneration, uh, pediatric idiopathic epilepsy. So. You can find elevated anti-nuclear antibodies in a lot of different situations. It's extremely important to figure out why do you have them. So just seeing someone who tests you and says, well, the follow-up testing was negative, come back in a year and we'll see if you're worse, I would suggest taking a different path. I would suggest being proactive, not reactive. So to be proactive, you're going to have to find someone that understands about anti-nuclear antibodies and understands about the immune system, understands how to use a test called a a uh, comprehensive lymphocyte phenoty immunophenotype test, how to use a multiple tissue autoimmune reactivity test. And so that's going to have to be someone who's pretty experienced and has a lot of, uh, has done a lot of this kind of work. So let me circle back. Is a positive ANA antibody test result serious? Could be, right. But you got to remember, you can find them in people who don't have problems, who aren't going to have problems. Uh, you can find them in a lot of different conditions. Um, so it might be serious, it might not. You got to get the right follow-up testing. And just remember, if your antibodies are like 1 to 320 and you know nothing else shows up on the follow-up testing, that does not mean you're out of the woods, okay? So don't, uh, <laughs> I would not wait and see to see if you get worse. <laughs> I would be proactive and find someone that you can work with that understands this.